What's up guys, Sila here with One Legion TV and I am back with another mount guide, this time showing you how to get the armoured Razorback mount. So this is a ground mount and it comes from Warlords of Draenor, so you will need the expansion to be able to get this mount. And you will need to have access to Tanan Jungle, so if you don't you'll need to go get your level 3 garrison or flying or one of the two, or someone to get you into Tanan Jungle as that's where this mount's going to come from. So if you don't, that will be your first priority, but I'm not going to be showing you how to do that in this video. I'm just going to be showing you how to get the mount in particular. So the mount comes from rares in Tanan Jungle. So once you get to Tanan Jungle, you want to look for either Vengeance, Death Talon, Terror Fist, or Doom Roller. Those are going to be the four rares that can drop it, and as you can see, they're marked by the red school on the map kind of hovering over them so you can see all the four spawn locations. Uh, they don't have that long of a respawn, it's about four hours-ish. And you can kill them once a day per character. So say on my Paladin I killed all four of them, and then I could go on to my ult and kill all four of them, and then tomorrow I'd be able to kill them on my Paladin and my ult again. So you can make use of pre-made group finder to see if they're alive. Um, so if they're not up on your server, you'll tell when they're up because they'll be this kind of like icon on the map where they, they should be. It's kind of like a, a circle with points around it and like swords in the middle. Um, you'll, you'll know when you see it. So you can look through the pre-made group finder to see if there's groups for Vengeance, Death Talon, Terror Fist or Doom Roller. Or you can use the add-on pre-made group finder to set keywords so it'll auto-join. Or you can use Cross Realm Assist, another add-on which will jump you to groups that don't have or that do have auto invite set, so you can just kind of jump servers to find one that has it up. So we've got Lucky and we found one that has Terra Fist. So we're going to fly over there and hopefully he doesn't die before we get there. Now generally I stand sort of, or hover, sort of just behind Hellfire Citadel, about where we are now, because it gives you, it's a good spot to get to all four spawn locations, so if you know, the Death Talon spawns, it's not that a big of a distance to get there and the furthest one away is definitely Terra Fist so it's the one that you'll probably miss the most. But once you get there it's open tag so as long as you hit it and do some damage to it you'll be able to loot it so just make sure you get there before it dies. Don't get stuck in every single tree it's not generally a good idea and we're just going to DPS it down and then we'll kill it. And once it has been killed it will have about a 30-ish percent chance of dropping a rattling cage. And then from, oh sorry, a rattling iron cage. And then from that rattling iron cage, you will be guaranteed a mount. Now it might not be the mount, but it will be a mount. You could either get the Warsong Diafang, the Tundra Ice Hoof, or the Armored Razorback. So obviously we want the Armored Razorback, but if you've not got one of the other two either, then yeah, you've got a chance of getting one of those two as well. And um, also from these mobs, you can get um, Medallions of the Legion which will give you 1,000 reputation with all Draenor reputations. So it's pretty good and the BOE so you could sell it as well if you don't need the reputation or don't care for it. Um, so it's a, a way of making a little bit of gold as well. But the Rattling Iron Cage is bind on pickup so that cannot be sold. Unfortunately we got some iron, some oil, but there you go. So that is how you're going to get the mount. Hopefully this guide helped you out. Look out for more videos coming soon. See ya!